So I keep getting you guys asking me to make longer videos. So today, this one is a little bit longer. This whole week, I basically just vlogged it and that's what you guys are gonna see today. We did so much to the camper. So what I'm doing right now is just taking some bin primer. This stuff is amazing, especially on wood because it just takes the stain and it blocks it from coming through. It is so watery, as you guys can see. It literally looks like you're just pouring milk out of a paint container. Um, but anyway, so I was just taking this and listening to some 70s music since we're in a 70s camper. Comment down below your favorite 70s band or favorite 70s song. I feel like I have way too many. So my mom is amazing and she was helping me prime the whole inside. It's funny, whenever I paint, I always like look at something and I just think to myself, okay, this isn't gonna be too bad, it should take me like an hour. And then as I get going, I realize that there's so many little spots to paint and there's just way more than I thought. I don't know if anybody else does that, but definitely took us a little while, but this bin primer is amazing. We also took down the other bunk. This one we are gonna put back up. If you guys saw my last video, we took the old bunk out on the other side out permanently. I don't think I just made sense, did I? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, right now I am painting over the wallpaper in the kitchen, which makes me so sad. But we needed to do it because we are putting some tile up in there. But I am leaving all of the wallpaper in the cabinets. That way when you open the cabinets up, you still see the 70s wallpaper. And now I'm just priming the whole back area of our like little dinette eating area and making that nice and white. I did go through the whole camper with a second coat of a bin because I just felt like it would make the process of painting it a lot easier and I would need one less coat of paint. When I did our fireplace, I actually did five coats of bin. That way I only had to do one coat of normal paint. Um, so I would recommend just doing a ton of coats. This is what the camper looks like, all white. It is crazy to see it. There were a couple areas at this point that I still need to paint. But as you guys can see, I left the wallpaper in there because I love it. Very nostalgic. Um, but yeah, so now you guys can see my little interesting morning I had. <sighs> Okay. I know this might seem like I'm being a baby, but his car is just so huge and tall. You feel like everything is very tiny below you. So, okay. I know I have to wait until the squiggly line goes. Okay. I had a clip of me explaining what was happening, but I don't know where that went. So just to explain to you guys what's going on, my husband has this huge truck and it takes a lot to even get in it because it's lifted. So I never drive it because it's just way too big for me, but he was asleep and his car was blocking mine. So I needed to go to the camper. So here's the adventure of me trying to drive my husband's truck. Oh, whoa, weird, okay. I forgot his, um Prindle, if you guys watch Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, is up here. Oh. All right, we got this. We got this. Okay, not bad. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to try to back this up somehow because my mom's car is in the way. Okay, that was really scary. I did not like that, but I'm glad I did it. I feel like I need to keep driving his truck and I'll get used to it eventually. All right, we're good. 
Yay, I did it. Any other wives or girlfriends out there whose spouse or boyfriend has a huge truck, let me know because I've always been really scared to drive them, but I'm just glad I did it. So now I am working on these cabinets. As you guys can see, they were not looking too great. So I took some wood putty and this knife and I just began to kind of putty all of this in. And this stuff is amazing. If you guys have never used wood putty before, it is so great. It goes on pink and then it dries this yellowish wood color after that I took some sandpaper and sanded it down and this stuff like I said is so good it's super inexpensive it's like five dollars for a big tub and as you guys can see when the paint goes on you can't even tell that there was anything wrong with it so we had a ton of cabinets that had um, some damage to it. Not a ton, I guess it was like five, but still that was a lot out of 20. So I just puttied in all the cabinets. And then as you guys can see, when you paint over them, it looks great and you can't even tell. So what I'm doing now is priming all of the cabinets. And originally I was going to spray everything in the camper, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. We still haven't put the final coat on. So I don't know, I just don't know if it's gonna be too much work to tape everything off in the camper and then try to spray it. So we kind of have to see, but for now, we just were getting everything primed and here is what they look like all primed. Do you promise me we'll fix no. the refrigerator? <laughs> I wanted to have it on camera. You're promising to fix my baby. I've grown really attached to this refrigerator, but something is wrong with it. So I am just praying that Connor is able to figure it out and fix it because I really want to keep it. So like I mentioned in the last video, we did see some water damage in the back. So we are just working on taking all of that stuff out. My dad has been flipping houses and doing contracting since he was like 20 so he's been doing it forever he is so good at this stuff so we let him help us i really want to learn how to do this stuff on my own because i hate depending on other people i love doing this with my dad but i really wish that i just knew what i was doing enough to do it by myself i probably would if i just tried it but it's one of those things i just never try it so i don't know so maybe the next project i'll attempt it but anyway, now I am going on the roof. I think I mentioned this again in the last video that we're getting a new roof put on. Um, but we had a bunch of tarps and things up here to help protect it from the rain. So I was just taking those down and we're trying to open up the awning to see if it still works or what it even looks like. It was kind of stuck, so I ended up just having to take a knife and cut the case for it. And you guys, the result was not so great. I don't really love how the awning looks, but let me show you guys. Ta-da! It's about 50 shades of brown. Um, so this is what the awning looks like. Definitely not my first choice. I put the brightness down so you guys could get the real feel for it. Um, it's very 70s, so I don't hate it, but it was kind of funny how this awning is set up. As you guys can see, the poles go onto the camper. Um, so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with the awning quite yet. It works, so we might as well keep it. Maybe eventually we'll get the awning that I was kind of thinking of, like a cute scalloped one with stripes and things like that. Um, but for now, it works, so we'll keep it. I'll just have to get a new case for that. So Connor was working on the roof. One of the skylights um, was kind of leaky and just not working. So he was working on taking that out and replacing it. We found a new one on Amazon. I believe it was like only $19, maybe $20 at most. Um, it was really cheap and I was just annoying Connor here with the camera in his face, um, just trying to annoy him as usual. But anyway, he fixed that and now the new one works so great. So I'm really glad that we found it. And the next clip, you guys will see what it looks like. There it is. So this was a really great deal. Amazon has tons of RV and camper stuff. 
So I'm working on all of the hinges and handles for all the doors in the camper. So I love to do things on a budget and show you guys how you can save money. So I wanted to show you guys that if you didn't want to get new hinges and doorknobs for your camper or even for your house, then you guys can just scrub them up, rough them up a little bit, and then make them new with some spray paint. So that's what I'm showing you guys today. Um, I started off with a toothbrush scrubbing them, but then I realized this toothbrush was very soft and wasn't really doing much. So I ended up getting a SOS pad and used that, and that worked really well. We did the door handles in our house. Um, all over I did that in like the DIY door video where I showed you guys how to make your dingy doors like really beautiful um so we did it to our doors in our house and they turned out beautiful and they have held up really nice so we figured we would try it with these and like I said if they don't turn out well then we could always buy new ones but we figured we might not might as well not be wasteful so I just put these all on a piece of garbage bag and this is their before as you guys can tell they're pretty rough I feel like if we really scrubbed these down like we did with the other ones I think these are supposed to be a gold color but anyway now I'm taking some primer and I am wearing a mask everyone gets on me if I don't wear a mask so I want to show you guys um, so I'm just taking this primer and I am spraying all of the handles with that also all of our um, door handles have this um, very specific mechanism where you have to pull it and that's how it unlocks so if we were to get um, new handles we would have to get a whole new system so that's why I'm really hoping these turn out okay for us to use so next I took some copper spray paint because I felt like copper would be a nice um, finish to have in the camper and I'm spraying that on it does look a little bit more like rose gold I know rose gold and copper are sort of the same thing um, but this definitely has more of a rose gold finish I'd say than a copper but I don't mind it I do have to see what they look like in the daylight because I just did these last night so I haven't really checked them yet um, but I think that they turned out pretty well there was a ton of hardware to do um, but it's so simple. I paid $4 for the can of primer. I actually had that from another project, so I didn't have to buy it. And then the copper spray paint was only $5. So if you can save probably like $50 on handles and only have to spend nine, I would definitely try it out. I actually just realized in this next clip, I did take it outside. I completely forgot I brought this outside and it does look beautiful in the daylight. I really like how it looks. I do wish I had a little bit more of a real copper color than like this rose gold, but I don't hate it. Once everything is painted, I guess I'll get a better feel for it. After that, I went back into the camper. I had ordered great stuff on Walmart. Um, and it came in the mail, so I decided to use this. If you guys know what this is, it is a foam insulation. So you just spray it like this and it works really great. It's a little bit hard in a camper because it does want to slide. So I kind of had to work around that. And then here is Connor just cutting out some nails from where the bunk bed was. And then here's some clips from today of us actually putting the walls finally back in honey. I am so excited to see walls. So hopefully the next video with honey, she will have all of her walls in, which I'm super excited for. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for this really terrible video quality right now, but we were struggling. It was so cold in the camper today. It was like 30 degrees. So we were just like a mess. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and stay safe. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.